Some animals eat what you'd expect them to. You know, other animals, plants, fruits, uh, that kind of stuff. But some animals, some animals eat weirder things than Tony Chew. And if you don't get that reference, you should read the comic book Chew. It's great, but before you read that, watch this video. These are animals that eat weird things. Number 15. Bullfrog Eats Mouse It may seem kinda nuts to even try and imagine a frog eating pretty much anything larger than… well, small or medium-sized animals. But one species of bullfrog is truly breaking all the rules in its quest for edible satisfaction. And rightly so, because it's… well, a beast. The African bullfrog is one of the most predatory frogs in the world. A carnivorous and aggressive amphibian, capable of jumping some 12 feet in pursuit of potential food sources. And yes, those food sources can include mice. After waiting a while, this clueless mouse happened to have the misfortune to cross paths with this intimidating bullfrog and soon met a pretty tragic end. You see, the African bullfrog has tooth-like features, known as odontoids, which according to the unfortunate souls who have experienced them, feel like glass when their jaws close. Sounds fun? Naturally, the mice die long before being digested. Usually, they find themselves suffocated or just shocked to death, which, let's be honest, is way better than being eaten alive by teeth that feel like broken glass jabbing into your flesh. Sleep well, viewers. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Animals eat other animals. That's not weird, it's just the nature of things. But would you ever expect the frog to eat a snake? We thought not, but it can happen. Just check out this footage for proof. Granted, the frogs have to be big and the snakes have to be small, but sometimes they will just gobble them up like spaghetti. Remarkable. We thought it would be the other way around. Snakes eating frogs? As always, comment down below below with the hashtag juicy topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Camel Eats Cactus Life as a camel ain't easy. You're out in searing, hostile climates with no water, no food, and a whole bunch of people who expect you to carry all their stuff. For camels, every day is a hump day. See what I did there? But camels have found a creative way around that problem. Eat the plants. Believe it or not, camels can eat cactus without serious consequences. Their mouths are lined with papillae, which help prevent any damage and move the food in its stomach's direction. This ensures that their mouth's interior isn't cut up too badly by the spines of the cactus, the way, say, you or I would experience if we were foolish enough to eat a cactus. At this point, we should probably once again say, do not eat cactuses, you are not a camel, just in case there were any doubts. Camels have somehow found a way to thrive in conditions that just about any other living animal would find insufferable. Chalk this one up as another win for evolution, finding new ways to let living things eat items that would otherwise kill them since Jesus. Number 13. Praying Mantis Eats Cockroach The praying mantis is a curious animal. Thanks to the placement of their eyes, these intriguing animals have an impressively wide field of vision. They're also unique in the way that they approach their prey. Stealthily, it's almost impossible to fool a praying mantis. They're already three steps ahead. That's bad news for a cockroach. Praying mantises tend to play the long game, patiently waiting to ambush their prey and ensure that they have absolutely no method of escape. And thanks to their gifts for camouflage, it can be almost impossible for any living thing to identify a praying mantis until it's too late. 
This video shows a hungry South African praying mantis attacking and eating a large cockroach. However, unlike many animals, the mantis doesn't kill its prey before consuming it, choosing instead to eat it alive, which is so much more sinister. Of course, we as humans probably don't have too much to worry about until the day that praying mantises grow 50 feet tall and enslave the human race as slaves and workers. We might be allowed to live, maybe. I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself. Number 12. Elephant Eat Poop they may be known as the wisest and most respected of the animal kingdom, but don't be fooled, elephants are still animals, and animals eat one another's poop. That said, the reasons they do it make sense. I mean, it's still gross, but there's a purpose to it at least. It's not just a Tuesday. To properly digest the vegetation of their local ecosystem, young elephants must develop some strong bacteria. And to do that... Oh... Well, you know where we're going. The elephants have to eat the feces of their mothers, or fellow elephants, to develop their immune systems. But it's not just about enhancing their intestines. Elephant feces are apparently rich in nutrients. So I guess it's also kind of the latest health craze in the world of elephants. Gwyneth Paltrow will probably jump on that in a matter of weeks. Look, it's kind of a gross thought, but this is just part of life for elephants. If they were to go, um, poop free, these animals would likely die in the wild. A single mistake would easily compromise their immune systems and probably bring their lives to a sharp and pretty, um, crappy end. Number 11. Fish Eats Shark it's something to catch a shark while out on a fishing trip. It's quite another to see said shark getting eaten by a fish. A fish. That's a blatant breaking of the natural rules of the ocean. Man, I guess the world really has shifted into another timeline. The fish are finally rebelling. After reeling in the impressive sized shark, the moment is immediately overshadowed when a giant goliath grouper rises to the surface and immediately swallows the shark in a single gulp. I mean, you have to give the grouper credit for not even stopping to digest its latest meal. There's a reason these guys are called the garbage disposal of the ocean. They just consume everything in one speedy bite, like Joey Chestnut at the 4th of July hot dog eating contest. Now, there's a niche reference for our American viewers. This instance is rare in Florida waters, and actually pretty much everywhere else. It's just not often that you end up seeing a fish eating a shark. Actually even saying those words feels kinda wrong. Is it possible I lost my mind? Perhaps. Number 10. Octopus Eat Seagull Of the many animals under the sea, the octopus is a surprisingly capable predator. I guess that's the benefit of having eight limbs, but when it comes to eating, the octopus has some weird tastes. Despite their obvious differences, the octopus really likes to eat birds, and how it gets them is actually kinda cool. It's, it's, an, it's an octopus. The footage shows a seagull scouring the water's surface for some food scraps when everything goes horribly wrong. Out of nowhere, the octopus creeps up beneath it and launches its tentacles, grabbing hold of the bird and refusing to let go. No matter what the seagull does, it just can't escape. Pretty soon the octopus emerges as the victor, having effectively murdered the seagull in cold… water? But that's not all. The octopus then proceeds to eat the seagull, because, well, what's the point of going out for dinner if you're not gonna eat, right? While this may be a pretty bleak look at life under the water, this is the way life goes. Predators attack and eat their prey, become the star of a BBC wildlife documentary, and eventually die out due to mankind's over-reliance on plastic straws. A tale as old as time. Number 9. Skew a Seabird Eats Vomit don't worry, we're not gonna show any footage. It's gross. Believe me, we would never do that to you. If you really feel you have to see it, get help. But also, the internet is right there. But seriously, why? The Skewa Seabird really eats a whole lot of disgusting stuff. In fact, of the long list of gross things they eat, the only normal food item would be baby penguins. And that's just sick. 
but if you look beyond all of the, uh, rotting flesh that they love to consume, the skewa seabird's main source of food is... Yeah, you know what it is. These animals are apparently so mean that they will physically harass and abuse the other birds until they throw up out of fear. And then they... yeah. That is beyond disgusting, but I guess that's just the natural world for ya. The skewa seabird is a pretty gross animal in the grand scheme of things, but this is a whole other level of disgusting. To be honest, I'm kinda glad I didn't know what this animal was, and I wish I could go back to that time. I was so innocent minutes ago. Number 8. Cobra Eats Plastic Bottle at this point, I don't think you really need me to elaborate on why plastic is bad. You know it's bad, I know it's bad, but the cobras apparently don't. Maybe that explains why this big boy made the mistake of eating it. This giant Indian cobra made the unfortunate mistake of consuming a large plastic bottle. As we all know, plastic doesn't exactly break down the way other food does, leaving this poor cobra in some severe discomfort. After recognizing that there was no way to successfully digest the bottle, the snake began the arduous process of, um, regurgitating it. While writhing around on the floor, the snake slowly begins to work the bottle back up through its system, eventually managing to get it back out in one full piece. I wouldn't recommend anybody touch that bottle. Thankfully, this cobra managed to survive this traumatic ordeal, although there's no guarantee that it won't go and just do the same thing again in a week. But for now at least, its stomach is free of undigestible plastic waste, and that's a win for everyone. Number 7. Cat Eats Popsicle on a purely health basis, cats should not be consuming ice cream or popsicles. However, neither should humans. And we do it anyway, but that's different. We're expendable. Please consider your pet's health before you give them something that may not be good for them. Thank you. This cat became a viral sensation when this video of him enjoying a popsicle hit the internet. Apparently, there's nothing people love more than seeing happy pets doing human things like eating ice cream or watching classic sitcoms. But between you and me, I think this cat probably wins the viral wars. I mean, just look at the joy in his eyes. That's a pure sugar rush, and honestly, I'm here for it. Although I wouldn't want to see what happened five minutes later, that cat was probably bouncing off the damn walls. Again, we should stress that you should probably not allow your cats to eat popsicles, but if they do, you should definitely film it and try to go viral. Because, you know, that's what the world is now. Just online videos with some witty commentary by the world's greatest voiceover guy. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Universe's greatest voiceover guy. My bad. Number 6. Monkeys Eat Shark Eggs Believe it or not, there are actually monkeys in the world that eat shark eggs. You're probably sitting there asking, how? Well, rest assured I'm about to tell you with their mouths. It's true, nature is truly incredible. When spring finally hits Africa, the wild chakma baboons find their diet changing significantly. Once every two weeks, they head to the edge of the ocean to scavenge for food. But if the tide is especially low, these opportunistic foodies get very, very lucky. Hidden among the seaweed are leftover shark eggs, also known as mermaid purses. With the threat of the ocean's apex predators completely absent, the baboons can quickly hurry over, take the eggs, and consume them without the danger of death. It's a perfect crime, and the sharks will likely never know what happened to their now-dead children. Okay, now that part's kinda bleak. So it turns out that monkeys do, in fact, eat the babies of sharks. That dark and kinda sinister revelation is yet another example of how weird and amoral the animal kingdom can be. Just wait until they get Twitter. The whole animal kingdom is gonna be cancelled left and right. Number 5. Sea Turtles Eat Plastic it's claimed that every piece of plastic ever made is still on Earth. It's just polluting natural environments. 
According to experts, over 52% of sea turtles worldwide have consumed plastic. That's incredibly depressing, but it's something we should all be aware of. Every day, sea turtles are unknowingly consuming plastic all over the world because it smells like food. For instance, a plastic bag may resemble a jellyfish, so the turtles will consume it, only to discover that they can't digest it. As a result, many sea turtles die unnecessarily because of the sheer amount of human waste floating around in their natural habitat. Sadly, our society isn't doing nearly enough to combat the impacts of climate change and plastic waste, meaning this kind of tragedy will continue for decades. The sea turtles deserve much, much better than a leftover McDonald's cup. Studies have confirmed that the main reason turtles consume plastic goods is because the plastic smells like food. The way they react to the plastic is almost identical to the way they respond to real food. Which, to be fair, is how we all respond to McDonald's. Smells like real food, but is it? Number 4. Worm Eats Fish I know what you're thinking. You're thinking we've all lost our minds. How could a worm eat a whole fish? Well, you haven't seen the worm yet. This is the Eunice Aphrodite, also known as the Bobbit Worm or the Sand Striker, and it is misleading. On first glance, you could be forgiven for assuming that the bobbit worm is tiny. Not the case. Actually, these genius predators tend to dig themselves into the ocean floor. leaving only a few inches above the surface to keep an eye out for potential prey. These worms can actually grow up to 10 feet long, and yes, they tend to focus on passing fish as their main source of food. However, they're not opposed to eating, well, anything else. In fact, the bobbit worm will eat just about anything that crosses its path, including an octopus. Don't underestimate the worm. This is not your average worm. It's basically a full-sized predator that looks like a worm. In many ways, that's more frightening. And I didn't even mention that their bite can split a fish right in half. Yikes. Number three, chimps eat monkeys. Throughout our time on Earth, humans have earned something of a bad reputation for our willingness to kill off an entire species of animal. But it turns out that we're not the only beings in the animal kingdom to do so. Chimps are murderers too. Hey, murderer friends. In one area of Africa, chimpanzees have spent their whole lives hunting native monkeys. But as with humans, all of that hunting comes at a cost. As a result of the chimpanzees' overhunting of monkeys, the monkey population in Africa has fallen to the point of near extinction. Species like the red colobus monkey have fallen by over 89% since 1975. One of the most traumatic changes resulting from natural hunting. So I guess the lesson here is that we humans have more in common with our primate relatives than we first thought. Admittedly, chimpanzees are a particularly aggressive and unpredictable species of primate, but the hunt, kill, and eat an animal almost to the point of extinction is pretty extreme even for them. Humans and chimps are truly two sides of the same coin. Number two, fish eats eel. Okay, so yes, technically speaking, eels are fish, so I guess this topic is all about fish eating fish, which is nothing new. But when you think about it, it kinda is. I've confused myself. So let's get into it. Despite the known fact that eels are slimy, slippery, and just generally pretty gross, there are still many fish out there that will happily consume them for a meal. And the site is, uh, I don't really know how to describe it, so you'll really just have to watch. It's pretty traumatic, right? Well, before you declare that you've had enough internet for today, it's worth remembering that this is nature and all its, uh, uh, nature. What a world we live in. Apparently, this is not a rare occurrence. Fish like the grouper have absolutely no problem consuming full-sized eels in this, uh, enthusiastic way. In hindsight, I think we are all too young to be looking at, uh, what we just looked at, but that's nature, man. Somehow the fish can entirely consume the eel, despite being still pretty small, actually. Anyway, let's move on. I think we all want to move on and forget about this. Number one, dog eats pizza. 
I don't know about you, but I don't subscribe to the dog-eat-dog philosophy. I'm more of a dog-eat-pizza kind of guy. You know, as in, let a dog eat pizza. Anyway, that's a good philosophy to have because dogs love pizza. Don't worry, dogs can eat pizza in small amounts as long as the dough is cooked and the pizza doesn't contain onions or garlic. It's not good for them, obviously, but they really do seem to love it. And who can blame them? Pizza is the best. I mean, look how excited this little guy is to get a slice all to himself. I don't think I've ever related more to a dog in my life. I hope that slice is one of the greatest meals he's ever had. Ah, oh, man, I want pizza now. His influence. Some will insist that dogs should not eat pizza, and that's valid. I believe every dog owner should make their own decision about what's best for their pup. But it is a scientific fact that all dogs love pizza. And so do I. I'm basically a dog. I eat a lot, I sleep a lot, and I love tummy rubs. Somebody take me for a walk. Have you ever seen an animal eating something truly weird? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!